Hey guys, Alan from Hack Gadgets here. My daughter was at this school event and she brought home this little uh, thing that they were wearing on their wrist. It's kind of cool actually. They would wear it on their on their wrist and as they were clapping or doing whatever they did in this, uh, this school event, all these kids had these things flashing away at the same time. Um, she said it was a pretty cool, a pretty cool look. So obviously this thing is mass produced and handed out for free at events. So, you know, this thing is obviously going to be very, very inexpensive to produce as it's meant to be thrown out after the events. There's a little QR code on there. You could probably scan that to see some more information about the event. And I thought this would be interesting to take apart and uh, see what makes it tick. So obviously from the outside we can see a translucent cover with a few high brightness LEDs and there has to be something in there that makes it trigger either sound or vibration, probably vibration, and obviously a battery for some sort of power source. So let's crack into this thing and uh, see how this thing works. actually comes apart pretty easy. So, okay, before I open it up, I'm thinking, uh, so calculators and such, you know, they have such an, uh, an amazing amount of electronics in them for such a small dollar value. I was wondering what would be in here. Um, it's possible there could be an accelerometer and a very small microcontroller, um, but I'm thinking something a lot simpler. Um, I'm thinking something such as uh, a circle with a wire or some sort of frame that detects movement and as it, uh, as it vibrates it just sort of this, this very sloppy wire is able to touch um, either that or some sort of um, device that does something similar and then basically charges up a couple caps and I'm thinking what we see here is a, a cap charging and then slowly discharging. Um, so we'll probably see some electrolytic caps in there maybe. But let's take a look anyway. Actually comes apart pretty... Oh, I see this. This actually keeps it... Oh, there's a battery compartment on the bottom. Oh, interesting. So you could actually change that battery out if you wanted to. But it looks like with this wristband off, this can actually come out. Let's try to get this thing right out of here. Okay, this thing wasn't even glued or anything. Looks like the this thing is screwed onto the back, but there's no glue or snap connectors or anything holding a sink together. Okay, so there's the small little circuit board. Wow, there's really not much to it. So as we thought, there's a few high brightness LEDs there. Um, a few resistors. There's a transistor. So this transistor is probably buffering the drive to the LEDs and wow could these little tiny capacitors here be charging up and holding that charge to give us the the dimming effect possibly now what's detecting the vibration okay there's a little device in the back here let's see if I can open this up a bit more without breaking it. I don't think I can. Oh, I see. Okay, these are heat uh, welded down here. So, so this is, I could take it off, but I would damage it. But you can see it in there. There's a little can device in there and I, I'm assuming that is the motion sensor. And we could probably verify that. Let me find a wire. Let me short that out and see what happens. There we go. So it's a normally open device. When it shorts out, 
So I'm not, I'm using very gentle force. Obviously if I tap it, it would activate, but I'm just shorting the device out. And that's activating it. Pretty cool. And just out of curiosity, the capacitors, I'm not sure if these capacitors are in parallel or not, but they are in the order of about seven microfarads. This is just going across one of them here. And same thing across the other one. And yeah, these capacitors are just put right in parallel. So I was thinking initially that uh, these capacitors here are holding the charge, um, feeding the LEDs, but of course there's a transistor here, so um, this will just be keeping the base current on this transistor um, so it can slowly discharge, which is why they don't need a uh, electrolytic cap in here. So pretty cool device and uh, obviously designed to be very inexpensive and lots of fun.